I am very sorry to step out of my kampong and bring some bad news to you again after the UOB1 account interest enough. Because this time, it's going to be HSBC, Everyday Global Account. And if you all have received the email on 2nd April 2024, they mentioned that they are going to have some revision and changes to the way they get the 1% everyday plus cashback. So it is nothing about the bank account interest. I think that is fine. But on the everyday plus cashback, I think that's something more serious. And in fact, I already published this news way before HSBC announced it on my Telegram group. So you can join like-minded individuals of over 14,000 members to get your latest news up there. So to go into the details, from 2nd May 2024 onwards, there's going to be some changes on the spending criteria. Because previously, we talked about 1% additional cashback from HSBC credit cards and debit cards. But from 2nd May onwards, that HSBC credit cards is no longer going to get that 1% cashback anymore. So for example, if you're using the HSBC advanced credit card, previously you could get up to 2.5% plus 1% additional cashback totaling 3.5%. So 2nd May onwards, no more 3.5%, only up to 2.5%. Likewise for HSBC Revolution, where you can get 4 more per dollar on selected category or 10x bonus points. Previously, you could also get the 1% additional cashback from the Everyday Plus Rewards and that's going to be gone too. But that's not the only sad news for HSBC Revolution because they are going to remove some categories from that 9x bonus points calculation as well. And that will be 5814 fast food, 5411 grocery, as well as 5499 miscellaneous food stores which includes food delivery. So for those of you who are heavy users of the HSBC Revolution card, I think this is a very sad day for you. But I guess a larger part of you are more concerned with the gyro cashback because previously you could get 1% on any gyro payments to building organizations. But that's going to change with effect from 2nd May 2024, because previously they only excluded gyro payments to HSBC credit card. But from 2nd May onwards, they are going to exclude gyro payments to financial institutes and trading platforms relating to cryptocurrencies, stock exchange and trades. Now, I know what some of you are concerned about, what falls under the financial institutes. And according to my Telegram group from the people who have asked the HSBC customer service, HSBC is targeting financial institutes that deals with trade, stock exchanges and crypto. You see, the dog was so bad at me already. For the other types of financial institutions, we can only wait and see until May when the gyro payment is completed whether we still get that EGA cashback. Because the truth is, nobody really knows until 2nd May 2022 when that new rule is effective. And I'll update in a future video whether that is effective or not. In other news, Standard Chartered Bonus Saver has also cut the bonus saver interest rate from the previous 4.13% to now 2.88% if you fulfill the basic requirements. So that is double bad news for you. But not all is bad news though, because the good news is now Mumu is offering that 6.8% per annum guaranteed. They are launching a brand new Invest Matter campaign where you can get 6.8% per annum guaranteed up to 60 days. So there are promotions for both new and existing users and you can check my link to find out more. And if you're from Malaysia, like where I am now, you can actually get one free Apple stock when you sign up with Mumu Malaysia and fulfill the requirements, terms and conditions apply. Even if you're a Malaysian working in Singapore, you can still sign up for Malaysia Mumu account as long as you have a Malaysian ID. Anyway, this video is not sponsored as well, but if you really want to see where I use Mumu Cash Plus as a form of passive income strategy, then I can refer you to a previous video right here.